Yeah, overall, I thought we, I thought it was a good game for us. Uh, I was pleased with our defense at the start. Uh, Parkside was, Parkside w w was a little unsettled uh, at, in the beginning, but they got, they got, they got really good there at about the 12 minute mark, and, and they made us, they made us look pretty bad. So, you know, if they're uh, overall, I'm happy. But for us to be uh, a top notch GLIAC team. Uh, we can't lose concentration, and, and we have to we have to shore up that that defensively. I was happy with the rebounding. I was happy with the with the uh, percentages as far as shooting. We didn't go to the free throw line enough, but uh, uh, overall it was good. Uh, I was really uh, excited and and proud of Dylan how he stepped up and, and when given a chance he he uh, he got a home run. You know, six for eight. You know, we know he's capable of that, and I I don't expect that every game, but it's really nice to see when a kid's ready to go when called upon. And that's, that's the key, that's a big key and c could be moving forward when guys are ready and, they, and then they get, a, they get a chance and they, and they take advantage of that situation. Quick start to the, uh, to the first half and then they came back. Yes. That big, that big run in the second half. Now what was the key to really pull away from them? Well, you know, I think, I think we just started moving the ball better. That's what I felt. I felt like our uh, defensive intensity was, was adequate. But I, but I thought that we were moving the basketball from side to side, and uh, AJ played a much better second half. And when that happens, you know, we're 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 not where we need to be uh, offensively or defensively right now. But I like the strides we made from last year. And once we get that offense clicking a little bit better, I don't think we were in tune or real fluid in that first half. You got four players in double figures. You mentioned Dylan. Uh, Obviously, Kyle too. Um, yeah, the, Kyle. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, Dylan, Kyle, Tommy. You know, in, in double figures was Tanner. The other one. Tanner, was Tanner had a nice game. Tanner did a nice job for us tonight. And uh, you know, that's all the things you step up when given an opportunity. T I thought Tanner's been really good this preseason. And uh, I think Isaac Appleby was four for four with six rebounds, four assists, zero turnovers. You know, that's that's a big that's a big boost coming off the bench. And he does a great job. He has great energy defensively, and I, I really like it. I, you know, I thought our two freshmen played good, but they were really nervous. And they'll just keep getting better and better and better. Every, every minute that they get, they're going to feel more comfortable, and, and they're going to be really good and, and helpful for us down the stretch. Two very good GLBC teams here. You're going to see Lewis yep. tomorrow. Um, they're getting ready to play more. Than yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on Lewis? Lewis is a really good club. They got size, they got speed, they got athleticism, they can shoot. Uh, just as, as is Parkside, they're, they're going to they're gonna come in here and try to knock us off, and, and, and they should. Uh, I, I really like their club. They got two big guys that can bang in there, and they're, they're going to give us all we can handle, trust me. We have to be really, we, we have to be uh, on top of our game tomorrow. Um, uh, Kyle and, and Dylan, great game tonight uh, against a very, very good Parkside team. What's it like to kind of get that first game under your belt in a solid win uh, here in the SDC? Uh, I always think it's a great start to get a win like that at home. I mean, it gets us as a full team really, I think it gets us excited for the rest of the year. When we're winning by 30 points and we have all players 1 through 12 hitting on all cylinders, I just think that's a Great token uh, coach getting us prepared for the game and just everyone coming out and executing. Yeah, and um, I thought we came out with a real hot start. Um, a lot of energy uh, kind of dwindled a little bit uh, on the intensity level towards the end of that first half, but uh, the second half we were able to get it going again. Uh, Dylan, 7 of 9 from the field, 6 of 8 from three point range. Kind of, how are you feeling it tonight? Uh, you got in that ry rhythm and just kind of just kept going and snowballing from there? Yeah, I was just kind of waiting for my number to get called in that second half and um, make the most out of the opportunity. Um, fortunately, tonight the, the shots were falling and I just needed to trust my practice and myself and let the shots fly. Kyle, we know you can knock down the three, two, a couple of them tonight, eight of 11, toe from the floor, nine rebounds. Uh, obviously hit a couple of big shots on the outside, but did a lot of your work on the inside uh, today. Was that something that you kind of worked on in the off season to, to get down low a little bit more? Get, Oh uh, yeah, I know coach. Coach always likes me getting off to my start on the inside just because he thinks if I see a couple go, it'll make the rest of my game flow better as well. And I think that was definitely the case tonight between that and just the overall energy we had as a team. I just think that the shots, I mean, it just seemed like they all, all fell no matter what, what shot you took. 
four players in double figures tonight. Kind of what does that do for your team if you can get everybody kind of involved into the game? Does it give you guys that momentum that you need? Uh, yeah, I definitely think that's, that's a huge point for us because I, any team can't just be a one-trick pony. you got to have multiple guys who can do it for you. As soon as you start relying on one person, that's when you're going to start losing games. If you have four or five guys in double figures, it's pretty tough for a defense to stop you. Yeah, and I think we know we have guys that are more than capable of coming in and, sc and scoring and producing points off the bench, so that's always a, a big positive. Guys, when we talked about offense, what about defensively today? He held them to 36% shooting from the field. Kind of what was the key to slowing down their offense? Uh, I just think our overall preparation this preseason has been fantastic. Coach has been really drilling us on the defensive end, and I think that it's really paying off. We're getting to our help sides really well and forcing them to take shots that they might not want to take. Our scout was great on them. They ran a lot of the stuff that we've been practicing all week, and I just say a lot of that's just coach getting us ready and then us coming out and executing.